So you may be asking, Chris, I followed all your tutorials and I made a real cool song. How do I export it to a Wave or MP3 so I can put it online or on a CD? Well, I'm going to show you a few different options on exporting here. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Rose Garden does not have an option to export straight to a WAV file, but uh, I'll show you some ways around that. So first we need to create a song. I've already um, opened up ZYN Add Sub Effect and added three instruments to it. And if we go to our uh, Manage uh, MIDI Devices here, we'll see that it is MIDI External Device 2 this time around. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose that on track one and instrument one, and we're going to choose a track two, and we're going to set that to instrument two, and we'll choose uh, that on track three, instrument three. So, and I have already connected my MIDI keyboard. You can hear the three different instruments there. Uh, and I'll just actually draw it by hand. Let's do that. We'll go. So let's erase those extra notes I put in there. I uh, will move this one up there. See how that sounds. Probably horrible. Okay. And I'll just come back to our track editor here, choose it, press control C to copy it. Note the end there, I'll go, oh, I'm on the wrong track, but that's fine. Uh, choose this track now, come back to here. It's just to let you know when you're pacing stuff, it pastes whatever track you have selected. So, and we'll choose this track and we'll go here and we'll see how that sounds. So we have that set up. At this point, we can go File and Export it. There's a few different formats here. Uh, well, some of them, I haven't, all of them I haven't messed with, except for MIDI, which will let you export it as a MIDI file, which is great. You can put that online. The other problem with MIDI files is uh, you, you can take MIDI file, put it in another program like LMMS, assign it new instruments, and then export it uh, as a WAV file. Uh, which I will show you in an LM LMMS uh, tutorial. Um, so that's one way to do it, uh, but then you might you have to reassign uh, all the instruments to those different uh, tracks. Uh, and let's say you like it exactly how it sounds. Uh, someone downloading a MIDI file, it's going to sound different based on the MIDI plugins they have on their computer. The instruments are going to sound different. So let's say you want to save it as a WAV file or MP3. Well, luckily doing it the way we did, connecting it to um, uh, ZYN add sub effect, at this point, we can open up Ardor, which I've shown you in the past. Uh, we can create a file uh, project, and we'll just call it My MIDI. And we'll create it, open that up. There we go, that's our track editor here. We'll say create a new track, make it stereo, boom, boom. If we halt, hit Alt-M, it will open up our mixer window and you can see the track we just created here. I'm going to go uh, input and choose edit and now we get to pick what we want to record from. First we will unselect these two, uh, which is uh, your system captures by default probably your microphone. and. Um, now I'm just going to click on both the ZYN add sub effect outputs. Now, if I choose that track to record, I can press record, I can press play, and it starts recording. I can come here, I can go back, and I can press play. And you can see it's recording the output of ZYN add sub effect to this track. So at that point, we can stop recording there, and we can stop playing here. And we can trim it up, move it over, and export it as a WAV file, and then later on convert it to an MP3. That's great if you're using certain applications like ZYN Add Sub Effect or AM Synth, but if you're using the built-in uh, uh, plugins, the plugins for the synthesizer, and I'll show you, I'll just quickly import, don't save, 
uh, in the past. This uh, Superman uh, MIDI. Uh, there is no option that I was able to find under here to capture that audio. I mean, if I turn on this capture, you can see it, but that's my microphone and you can see my voice in there too. So you don't want that. And there should be a way to loop it back in, um, but there's not a direct option. I, I mean, there's this Ro Rose Garden master output, but that doesn't do it. You see, if I remove these capture, you can see that no, no sounds coming in. Someone out there knows how to do it, let me know, and then I'll do a tutorial on it. But uh, as far as I know, to save to a WAV file, you have to be using an external uh, synthesizer, such as ZYN Add Sub Effect or, or um, AM Synth, or you can export your MIDI, import it into LMMS, but at that point, uh, you're gonna have to reassign your instruments again because uh, and, and you can if you, you probably you're gonna get a different sound most likely because you're not gonna be using the same exact instruments um, But that is some of your options. And I'm sure there's a way to you capture the uh, Inputs without having to wire something up to an external recording device um, But play around with it if anyone finds out a thing. I don't know, please Send me a message and I will do my best to look into it. Have a great day and uh, visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.